Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. What I want to do, I had gotten this bundle a little while back on um, a recommendation of one of my friends here. And so I want to try some more of the pieces that I haven't done yet. And what I'm hoping to do you know, is these ones, this is the box. This is the balloon dog. And this is a bow. And I just, like the bow looks so little, but cute. And I just, these three for some reason, I'm wanting to try and I'm kind of hoping I can put them all together. Now in this little booklet here, I did see one where they got the balloon dog coming out of the box, but it didn't have the bow on it. But I'm gonna go ahead and run it, run these three through and see. Maybe there's a way to use a bow, maybe not, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna run it anyways and make it. These papers are from Crafters Companions. Um, just, I think, Year of Craft and stuff like that. Um, so, out of their kids, all that stuff. So, it is Crafters Companion paper. So, I'm hoping that it's not very thick. But I think that's big enough for the box. For the balloon dog. Um, I guess I'll go a solid color. I'm curious how this is going to work out. So I think I'll do the dog in one of the greens and the other pieces in another one of the greens. And then for the bow, there was one. Here, this paper, I think, should be pretty cute. And hopefully kind of tie the other colors in. So that's what I'm going to do. These will go over here, of course. And I did remember to plug my Gemini in. <laughs> so I don't have to make it wait for that. Look at all the tape I have on here. I gotta get this thing cleaned up and I think I need to order. Just order a new one. As you can see, I use it lots. And my new cut plate is underneath there. And here's my top plate. Let's see here. Let's get this going. I'm gonna run the bow of just one color. Oof. Well, I'm not gonna leave them taped together because they were, the tape was double-sided and stuff, so. So I'll just cut a strip for there. I 
And then I've got the dog. And then the little pieces. I really don't know what these little pieces are supposed to do. Like, what is that supposed to do? Maybe that's an ear. I don't know. We'll see once it's cut out where it fits. So I'm going to do the pieces here in the dark green. And this is the more sturdy stuff. Not that you probably don't even care, but... <laughs> It's just amazing to me that the newer stuff is more solid. And now for the box, and this is all going to be the same. I sure love this Gemini Pro, this bigger size, being able to run everything like this. It's nice. So worth everything. What I might do is try to get these. There we go. And then these ones over here, these smaller ones. Let's see. There. There. Okay. And let's get this through here. Let me. Mm. My plates are not lined up very well. There we go. And I'm not worried about the dies moving because I got the magnet mat. But I do worry about the paper moving. <laughs> I'm going to start with the bow, and I'm going to, let's see, it doesn't say whether it's in the front or the back, so I'm going to, let's kind of shape this a little bit. So that it comes that way. I don't want to fold it. I want to curve it. It's kind of small to do this with, but you can. Can you use my nail a little bit? Since it is that small. And I'll just glue it down.
this glue kind of acted up on me yesterday and I just now that the bottle's getting close to empty it's kind of odd but that is what's happening <laughs> was too big of a drop. Now where did this piece of paper go? not stuck on the board. It's just a little tiny piece. Oh. Where did that piece go? I need that piece. Oh my goodness, I can't find that piece. The glue isn't drying. <laughs> Hmm. The piece fell down, so that can't be it. That's too small. No. Oh. oh, that looks so cute even without the band around it. it. Still needs to be held together. It's not drying very fast. This is taking too long. This is not wanting to stay put. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of peek at the balloon dog. That's cute. Okay. And the other pieces. So now we just got to figure out where these that will go on his face. Yep. Okay, let's see if this is ready yet. Good. Bow. Okay, let me move to the box because that cute. Just have to look at the right way to put it together. Okay, let me see the picture of the box. So this 
These must be glue tabs here. And this would be probably how you would glue it. On. So this has to be part of the top, right? There's a score mark here. Hmm. These go there. However, I want that to be, I guess. And then hmm. pieces look the same. Oh, there we go. So, like that, and then we could fold these down that's it okay let's glue them together let me make sure I'm in frame here for you Doesn't look right. Is this on the wrong side? Oh no, that's right. Okay, so there's that one. And then this one. What did I do? Because I just need to fold it back the other way. There we go. Okay. I mean, I hope that was just in frame where I played with that so you could see what I'm doing. This is going to go this way. And this is going to go this way. And then this. goes on here. Right. So let me just put a little bit on here to hold that together. There's the box. Isn't that cute? It is cute. That is so cute. Okay. So there's our box. Now let's work on this dog. So I'm gonna bring up the dog. I almost want him to have eyes, but he does not have eyes. So he needs this is gonna go here. So I'm just going to put that down. the leg.
So they did it the opposite way. They used the lighter on the cutout pieces, which kind of, yeah, now that I think about it, makes sense because that's where the light's shining through and that would make them lighter. So, this is detail. It's gonna go right there. And get glue on that tip. There we go. <coughs> I'm thinking this is an ear. Yep. I don't know why I just don't refer to the picture. front leg. Oh, I just dropped it. <laughs> And we need a card blank. I'm thinking this is a Spellbinders blank, but I could be wrong. I'm just thinking it is. And so I need, okay, put that there. This here. This is one of my pieces, and this can now be put up here. And now I need something to go on there. This is a different bunch of papers. Way too busy. Way too busy. Way too busy. Um, the dots might work. I'm trying to think. I'm not super crazy about that part. How about that? This will definitely work. I believe. Maybe not. Maybe I should stick with... I've got an idea. I don't know what I did with this other one. Oh, here it is. I'm going to do a double mat. And that should do it. That should take care of it. 
I'll do this, then a solid. So we have four and a quarter by five and a half. Just a little bit. And four and a quarter. Bring it down like an eighth or sixteenth of an inch. Very little amount. Let's put this on first. And I am just going to go ahead and put it on. Alrighty, got that on. Now I need a solid, but I don't obviously don't want the green. Here's a kind of pretty yellow. That should go. Oh, well, yeah, it goes with there. So now I need to go smaller. Now it's just figuring out how much smaller I want to go. So if this is four and a quarter. I'm going to go to about uh, three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. And three and three quarters. So that's about half an inch. So if I go to five. Just kind of playing it by ear. Good. I like that. I like that, man. It still shows our sprinkles real well. Now we have to figure out <coughs> which way we want to orient all of this. I glue it too tight up here so I can get him to fit down in there. I could. Just stick his leg through. Let's 
or I could orient him this way. And I think I kind of like that. Okay. I am going to glue the box down. Oop. I'm seeing I could have just stuck this to that. Tuck this inside tab to this and then glued it down that way and it would have had the box open. And I don't ever have a problem with let stuff hang off my mat. Sometimes people worry about staying on the mat. Sometimes I'll go off the cart a little bit, even, and then just kind of trim it off. So if like I did this, then I just come and trim that part. There's nothing wrong with that. I never did find that piece that went around the bow. Guess I lost it pretty good then. Okay, just stick his little leg in there. That little bow there. Whoa. Now, I need a sentiment, right? Look, oh, he should be stuck down everywhere. Cute, coming out of the box. But I don't think there's but one sentiment in here. And this is what I got in my um, birthday celebrations bundle that's just accents for the slider bar this yeah that might work in there but I believe that's the only I really want to try that. We'll do that one next, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use this. Happy birthday, but I don't really. All those letters are separate. No, I don't really want to do that. How long are we at? That's just going to be so much work. All those letters. Let me find. You know, I'm just not going to worry about the sentiment right now because I don't... We don't have enough time in this video to do all of this. 
and I don't want to just put any sentiment on. I want to wait until I have one that I truly want to use on it. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And I love the box. <laughs> I absolutely love the box. The fact that the little flaps, and if I had done it right and just done the sides with the glue, he could really be sitting in. Honestly, you could set something in there. You know, or use this inside. And I don't know if a gift card would fit in there or not. Mm -hmm. But it's an idea, right? Alright, so... That's it. If you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.